Hey everyone, uh, what we're going to do today is a real simple uh, jig. It's the HD Micro Jig, uh, and it's going to be a living rubber deal. Uh, in the vise, we have a 1 8 ounce ball head jig. It's got a size 1 owner, 5316 2X strong hook, and the color is black. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with black flat wax nylon thread. As you see, I have a little cut in the, right here in the collar, and that's to lock my thread in because there's no ring on this type of jig here. There's no ring on this collar, so we'll lock it in by cutting a little groove in the lead. So I don't want a big heavy collar on it because this jig is small to begin with. So I'm going to use a very, very light base. And what we're going to do is we're going to get our living rubber. This is one piece of black and brown. That's a full, that would be the full width of the tab, uh, the roll. I cut a piece about three inches, three and a half inches off of the roll. And what I did was I folded it in half. And I took a half a piece of the black and half of a piece of brown. Um, so it's going to be roughly 40 to 50 strands, somewhere in there. Um, living rubber is a little different. Uh, if you buy it at Barlow's, it'll be the regular. But some places have a heavy, a medium, and a fine. Uh, if that's what you've... Uh, come across to do this jig it'll be the medium grade rubber so let's get started here we're gonna take our brown rubber and because I cut it so long you want a, a about a, at least an inch over the top and the back and that's just because when you cut the rubber you're gonna pull it and it's some of it's gonna snap back so uh, you want a little extra so all I'm gonna do is make two wraps to hold that in, I'm going to take my black living rubber and put that right on the top here. And how I hold that in is just like if you're going to put a tube on a on a, a jig. I pop it through there, and that's going to hold it in place while I while I get it uh, where I want it to tie. See, and that ain't right. I'll just move it over a little bit and pop it through. And now I'm centered up. And this is the hardest part with this jig. All you got to do is you want to hold it here because as you pull it tight and start to make your collar, it's going to want to spin. So you're going to, and the reason that is, is because we don't have a heavy base on here, a starter thread for it to grip to. So do is just try to make it as tight as we can and then once it doesn't spin anymore, we can move back. And start making our collar. Wrapped a little too low. Sorry about that. And that happens. Which is one of the hardest parts with a jig like this with no uh, no ring collar. Yeah, that's why we have the groove cut so it locks our thread in. And what I did was when I went and tied, I went over top of that groove and it didn't lock the thread in. But now we're locked in. And there it is. Now we'll take our whip finisher. Trim it off. We're going to use our Loctite Super Glue brush on. 
for a head cement. Just a little bit all the way around. And I believe we're good. Now, the next thing is to cut our strands loose. And I'm going to use the big scissors to do that. Now, when you're doing this, look at where your, your head is, where you want the strands. In this case, I want them a little bit higher than the head. I'm going to look where my finger is. And that's where, when I pull this, if I cut it right where, where that is because I'm stretching it, it's going to snap back. So I'm going to want to leave a little extra room. Um, you can always trim it up later on. But if you make it too short, well, you're kind of out. So I'll always cut a little longer. You can always take some off, like I said. Same thing for the bottom. See where I want it at? Pull it and slowly cut. As simple as that, we're done. But we're not gonna we're gonna do this con to completion. We're gonna put the weed guard in, and I'm gonna use. Oh, I missed some. How did that happen? We're going to put the weed guard in and a trailer on this. So now that we have our jig, I'll show you what it looks like before we put anything on. Little spidery looking. And uh, what I could do, which is this a little bit more than what I want on the top. So I'm going to bunch it up and I'm going to hold it to where I want to trim it at. And I am going to trim the excess rubber off. There. That's more like it. You see how it sticks up like that. In fact, I could probably take some more off of there. But for now, we're going to leave it like that. We're going to pull our strands off to the side to expose the weed guard slot. And we're going to take our Loctite Super Glue Gel. When you put a weed guard in, you always want to use the gel super glue. It doesn't matter what brand. Just make sure it's gel because... Uh, Regular super glue will wick up these fibers. Just put a drop, it's all you need. We take our FG12 weed guard and put that in. And an FG12 weed guard is 5 64ths of an inch. And if you take notice, I trim this ahead of time. That weed guard would normally be longer. But I, I trim that up. Now we're going to put a trailer on here. Um, this happens to be just a little split tail grub. It's a Stank X. Um, but you can get hand pours. You could get any kind of little trailer that has a little bit of bulk but isn't too big. Uh, two inch uh, spider grubs, two inch grubs. Um, and what we'll do is see where we're at, where it comes out at. We're going to put our trailer on just like so. Thread it up there. Make sure we stay centered. And thread it up to our little barb keeper. And there it is. That little rubber, living jig, living rubber jig, with the little split tail trailer on the back. 
um, this thing. Um, this is a super effective little jig. And with the living rubber, it's got a lot of action. It falls nice and slow. And of course, it's got a, a heavy duty hook in it. So you don't have to worry about it. You can fish this with a little bit heavier tackle. And uh, guys that like to power fish a little more can now fish finesse with something like this. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.